Has she been rolling at all? No. No. She was she's yesterday. she just started pawing. The temperature's still a hundred only, that's good. This is more pneumonia than anything else, I really? bet you. Look at this. I know, she's breathing fast. Yeah, yeah, she does not feel good. Oh yeah, I know. Oh heck yes. It's Go even ahead. worse on this side. Is it? The lungs, and especially on the right side, are quite noisy. I don't know if it was a closed trailer or an open trailer, but she has some pneumonia. Just, oh, just, baby. just shipping fever. Yep, just shipping fever. Shipping fever is a conglomerate of conditions that you see in any animal that has been moved around. Stress from a long trip can weaken a horse's immune system, leaving them vulnerable to respiratory infections. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna give her a big dose of cortisone. I want her to feel better. Some anti-inflammatory, some feel-good drugs. Syringe full again tonight. Okay. With another 10 cc. Okay. Some antibiotics. Keep her out of the sun right now. Okay. Out of the draft. And the horse should be better in no time flat. Where is the hay? Because I like, does, uh, she don't, well, does she want to eat any grass at all? Yeah, well, we like... took her in off the grass because I didn't want her to get an infection. Okay. Walk over where right those guys there. are and see if she wants to eat any grass. One more test to rule out something more serious. Ah, there she goes. That's what I want to see. Yeah. If they have colic, bellyache, they, won't they eat. don't eat. I'm relieved she's not colicking because it's a little bit more difficult to treat. Giving an antibiotic every day for the next five days is a really good diagnosis. <laughs> if there's a problem, you call me again. I will. But I doubt that we have a problem. Okay. Horses do recover very well from a stress like this, especially when you give them some time. Enjoy the little horse. Thank you so much.